two pipe community. We made it once again. Yes. Saturday morning out in the workshop where I'm actually going to try to get some work done today. <laughs> it has been, I hope everybody's doing well. It's been a week from hell here. Just one thing after another. Uh, first of all, some of you know already, but I didn't tell everybody, but uh, our workforce was cut in half through all this. And they deemed it to where half of us were off for two weeks, and then the other half works the two weeks being half staffed. And uh, you know, you're you doing the same amount of work with half the people. Well, my two weeks is finally coming up. Monday's my last day of work, and then I'm off quarantine two weeks mandatory with no you know no side effects or nothing like that just for precautionary after that I don't know what's going on but uh, had that going on uh, my wife's had some issues this past week going on I'm not gonna get into that uh, my 75 year old dad was up on his roof had to he had to get the assumption that he needed to clean the gutters and do something because he's the kind of guy that can't sit still and he uh, he doesn't even know how to get on the internet or anything like that. He's an old retired guy. <laughs> old school, like I said, 75. Well, he was getting off the uh, roof, getting back onto the ladder and he fell off the roof, fell off the ladder and uh, messed himself up pretty good. Uh, what else? <laughs> uh, a big package that I had mailed out. This was dating back before the shit even hit the fan. This was back on like March 11th. I sent out a package of five eight ounce bags of Penzance and five eight ounce bags of Stonehaven. Aged, a lot of them are really good aged, like the white cream colored bags, to a gentleman out in California. And it's gone. <laughs> It's lost. Eight ba or eight eight ounces, ten bags gone. The guy had already paid me through uh, PayPal, friends and family, and uh, you know I'm not gonna make the guy wait, even though he knows it's not my fault either. But uh, I gave the guy his money back, and uh, we're just hoping that it does show up eventually. But uh, I did put an insurance claim on it when I. Uh, had originally sent it, but uh, you, you got to pull teeth out to, to try to get anywhere with the USPS. I mean, it's ridiculous. You have to prove the value of the contents. You have to prove this. You have to prove that. You have to send them pictures. But all this crap, and they have to determine that it's lost. Well, it's been since March 11th, like I said, and it was two-day priority mail with signature required with insurance, and it's gone. Tracking stopped weeks ago, so... Other than that, we're staying healthy. After my long ramble, I'm, today I'm going to smoke some Kamoy's cask number four. Never had it. I don't know what the date is on this. Uh, I'm guessing 18, probably. I don't know. But anyway, uh, you're going to see a rare occasion. I, I can't get my fingers in there to uh, crack that one. <laughs> Like I said, I've never had any of this. I like, I do like the can. And yes, a lot of people had said they compare this with like Stokeby's Luxury Navy Flake. Uh, it's fairly dark in this. Uh, the flakes are definitely ready to be smoked now. They're fairly dry. Really not picking up much of nothing. I'm picking up maybe a little bit of bready notes. Uh, mild little bit of sweetness. Wow, that's really about it. Let's see if you haven't seen the presentation. Look at it! Uh, <clears throat> let me get my pipe lit and I'll be back. And we're back. 
I was gonna go outside, but the sun's already blazing and it'll be right in the camera, shining in the camera. Smoking one of my Hackerts. I got many, many Hackerts. <laughs> this one is from 2011 also. Look at it. I had a guy last week, I can't remember if it was on YouTube or Instagram, he asked me how many Hackerts I had in my collection. And at one time, I had 23, 24 Hackerts. I'm not counting cobs, I'm talking briars. As I expected, this is on the light side. Uh, it's certainly a nice smoke, but to be honest, I would save your money and just buy Stokebys. If memory serves me right, I have several of these. I bought this and the, uh, what's the other one, the cask number seven. And I do believe they cost a pretty good penny. So your way to go would definitely be the Stokeby's bulk. If you're on a budget, but if you want to try it, <clears throat> it's certainly a good tobacco. You got that sweetness going on, you got the spice. Nice on the retro hail. I'm really picking up the uh, the raisin fig notes. The spice I'm picking up more of like a white pepper. Very nice though. Like I said I can't remember the price, but uh, I'm I'm almost positive that the uh, Stokebys would be a lot cheaper. Other than uh, the issues that I had stated, uh, I don't really have much else going on. Uh, my mom had said when my dad fell, she heard the noise outside. She heard the ladder fall. She looked outside and seen the ladder laying there, but didn't see him and thought that it just fell. Then on, per on further review, she looked around the other side of the window and she seen him laying there. And she couldn't get him up. He was out. And uh, she had to call my brother and one of his close friends and they lived a few miles away and they came up and got him up and uh, he refused, he wouldn't get on, he wouldn't go to an ambulance, he wouldn't have an ambulance called, he didn't want to go to the hospital. I think it was more because he didn't want to be fussed with and plus with the virus scare going on, he didn't want to be in the hospital or go into the emergency room. But my, my mom was keeping a close eye on him and he didn't have a concussion. I don't think he hit his head, it's just everything but his head, so that's good. But uh, like I said, I'm gonna be off for two weeks. So, I'll be banging out some pipes and I'll be banging out some videos. You're gonna be seeing a lot of me here the next couple weeks. <laughs> I'll try to make them shorter videos, but I got a series planned. I already planned for my two week being off work. I'm going to, I bought, LJ Peretti blends. I've never tried any of them that I can recall. And I bought every one of them that he had available. I believe I bought every one of them. I bought all the flakes. I got all the English blends. And I got a few of the Burleys. I didn't get them all because I'm not a real big Burley guy. But needless to say, I got over 20, 20, 25 different blends coming. I got, like I said, I got them all that he had. So they're going to be here actually today. So uh, 
I might even start one. If I get him today, I might even start one tomorrow or definitely throughout next week and the next coming week. I'll be doing a lot of uh, LJ Peretti reviews on all that stuff. Give me something to do along with making some pipes. It's supposed to be a nice day here today. Had some crazy weather last weekend. But other than that, I hope everybody's staying safe. And uh, if you've noticed, like I've been looking, a lot of tobaccos are being sold out now. Stuff that normally is never sold out. And I'm sure that's due to the shipping right now with the scare of the virus. <clears throat> it's funny, just a couple weeks ago, if you watch me and watch my videos there, I was talking about mixing some uh, that 18 year old Perique with some uh, small batch Carolina Red Flake that I had. And I also did it with some 40th McClellan Anniversary Flake. And then Cornell and Deal comes out with that new blend. It's going to hit April 7th if you haven't already heard. This is going to be a different red flake. It's not going to be that high sugar content from the other small batch. This is going to be South Carolina red flake with that 18 year old freak. And vapors being my favorite, along with Virginia Flakes, I'm going to, of course, buy some. So uh, I'll be doing a review on that probably next Thursday. Probably takes about two days to get here. Other than that, don't have much going on. So if everybody stays safe, talk to you boys and girls later.